Texas countryside. One Arizona organization is testing an unmanned reconnaissance plane on the U.S.-Mexican border to monitor illegal immigrants entering the U.S., but there are some area residents who say the drones invade privacy and foster poor cross-border relations. Joining us now from one of the busiest border crossings, the president of a group that identifies itself as American Border Patrol, Glenn Spencer. Glenn, thanks for joining us. Sure, Lester. It's a pleasure. I think what we're talking about here is a drone. Is that correct? That is correct. We have an unmanned aerial vehicle, Lester, that is, going, is right behind me right now. We're about ready to launch it, and uh, we're going to be showing the people, your audience, what it can do. Uh, in conjunction with a series of sensors that we're going to plant, we're planting on the border, uh, we can find and uh, report to the Border Patrol just about everybody who crosses that border. Well, why don't you go ahead and launch it here, and we can talk a little All bit. Right. It looks like about a six-foot uh, plane or so, roughly, right? Yeah. Yeah, go ahead, Jerry. Let's launch the bird. And that's got a camera on it. Yeah. Now we go here, and actually we're live on the internet at the same time we're live with you. Uh, and uh, you can see this airplane uh, make a turn uh, into uh, uh, the border region. Okay, we're looking, at the live, looking, we're looking at the live feed then coming from the plane. Th that is correct. This is the live feed coming from the plane. It's about to fly over. Uh, the San Pedro River as it just passes north into the United States. This is one of the busiest corridors of illegal traffic into this country. And we're able to fly along the border, sending live video signals back to our control center. And of course, then we will spot people, report the sightings and the board to the Border Patrol. And of course, they can see the live feed themselves. And how does the Border and Patrol about have their own helicopters, I know? Well, uh, we're, we're hopeful to uh, help the Border Patrol out. You know, those helicopters cost about $1,500 an hour to operate. This little device costs about $10 an hour. And how and long can it stay to, aloft? About an hour and a half. But the idea is to have a series of these along the border. When our sensors go off, indicating that somebody has crossed the border, we launch one. And in about six minutes, they're able to go out, look down, and verify and document what just crossed the border. And then we can see if there are people with bundles that might suggest they'd be, they'd be carrying drugs. Uh, do they have weapons? How many are there? Then the Border Patrol can then tailor its response accordingly. I'm not quite sure how he's flying that. Obviously, we're looking at a camera view downward. How is the operator maintaining this airplane and how far can it fly from him? Well, the operator right now is controlling it manually. It does have a small guidance system in it, but ultimately it will have a GPS guidance system in it that will allow it to fly, let's say, 20 miles from our base. And by the way, down there are two individuals we just flew over on ATV. So you saw live people there in that picture. And what's going on is that we are we are, we are going to set, have these sensors go out, the airplanes will launch, and within six minutes or so, be able to send pictures back. Now, and I don't see, I don't see any residential areas there, but there have been some oh, no, who have voiced uh, privacy concerns. How do you respond well, to that? Uh, first of all, you cannot hear the airplane at this altitude. Uh, you cannot hear it. You but, cannot see it. But it you can see into people's anybody, backyards. You know, we're not taking pictures of people's backyards. They do that with satellites. They already do that. But no, this is just flying over, verifying that people who are coming into the United States illegally, and much of this will be done on private ranches. We're on a private ranch right now, and this rancher wants our help. And we can do this. We're a nonprofit, tax-exempt corporation, and we're on a fundraising effort to get the money to do this all along the border for the American people and to help out the Border Patrol. Have you had any official response to this from the Border Patrol? Have they told you they would welcome this sort of help? Well, Lester, the individual Border Patrol agents that we work with along the border pat us on the back and say, what a great idea. We haven't had any official response, but we heard that the uh, Immigration and Customs people said in response to this story, they welcome all input from citizens, and I'm glad to hear that. Well, Glenn Spencer, thank you for taking some time with us this evening and demonstrating uh, your drone. Appreciate it. Th thank you very much. Now some stories we're following across America right now. Actor Robert Stack has died.